Good afternoon, ladies. This is Patricia. How are you doing this lovely day? Beautiful Wednesday. Hope you're all happy. You're all back at work. Well, that won't make you happy. Probably not. But hope you're having a good day anyways. Um, today I want to share with you my project for September with Tsunami Rose. And I'm using Witch's Brew Paper again. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect Halloween paper. Basically, anything that's kind of stood out like that, I have fussy cut a couple of times, maybe three. Then just adhere to the tin with those pop-up, like, squashy things. The butterfly is cut a couple of times and inked, so he looks a little gruesome. My spider guy came off some black flowers I brought I bought at the Dollar Tree and I just cut the spider off and stuck him on with a little glitter glue around him to look like um you know, that shiny web kind of thing. And the sticker there says Venom. Again, that's from um the paper set. And the sides are just covered in, in like the paper. I haven't got the lid off because there's something inside that I'm gonna show you. But I think it turned out really cute, and it is actually contained a little tiny album. In Ooh, spiders just dropped out. Good, that's just what I want it to happen. Um, he's going to come out in a second. He's a little snug, because he's been down there for a million years. And he's a mini album, and it's held with black tool, which can come off if you want to take him off. Uh, there's a little bottle there with um, merlic acid inside it, which is not a good thing to play with children. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and see if I can get music going here to scare you a little more. I don't always have that much great, um, that much success with doing things like that. However, here we are. This is the front of the um, little mini. Again, it's Witch's Brew from uh, Tsunami Rose, with the exception of the little glitter things and a couple more little things. It's all from this particular design. Let me put this down a bit, then I can hold him. This kind of um, tree up at the, or a, bro, uh, a bush up at the top is again part of that uh, Black Rose Dollar Tree find. I, I love going there. You can find all kinds of things that you can use in your journals. Um, I did cut a couple of these little bling blings to put in the owl's eyes there. Um, there is a, a, a skeleton arm there. I don't know if you can see the hand popping out. An arsenic tag. A few. I think these are Martha Stewart punch bats. And of course my my little poison bottle at the front. Well, it's acid, but same thing, right? It's not a happy thing to have. <laughs> okay, um, I made it with, I want to say I made this with a soap box, you know, kind of the front back cover and the spine. Um, it feels a little too chunky to be a soap box, so it's probably a cardboard box that I've doubled up. Um, it is the simple twine method down there, and I did ink the the um, twine with black ink to make it fitting with the theme. Um, mostly everything that you see in here is from this set. Um, I just even the the sayings are from it. Um, I I just I I see no reason for putting anything else other than. <laughs> Daisy stuff in because everything she has in this set is great. As usual, I mean, I'm saying things over and over again regarding uh, her sets, but Daisy makes really, really nice um, downloads. So I don't waste anything of her paper. Um, you know, I'll call it up and make um, a little tidy place there. And that's a tag holder, but um, I put that sideways. Okay, and again, another tag holder, and this, of course, with the exception of the red spider eye, is from this set. The colors are just so fantastic. 
Mm, I keep putting these things in and sticking two pages together. Okay. There is a few empty pages because I know people like to put their own stuff in or, you know, just journal a little bit. I love to journal, so I always have plenty of my pages empty so I can write in them. Look how cute that is. That's just part of the paper set. So as I say, I think I've told you before, some of the ones that I know I'm going to use as tags and things, I print on, um, it's not a really solid cardstock, but it has more depth than doing it on a copy paper. And the black doilies I got, I want to say I got them from Michael's. And this is a part of the paper. Again. All these are tag took places and paper from the set. Very, very scary. Creepy, creepy. Again, more tag places and a tag. Um, I think I have to make maybe just a couple more tags to go in here because I thought I had enough, but I can see uh, spaces where I can put them. Heavens, we don't fill everything up. <laughs> we have to have something in every nook and cranny. I do this all the time with paper clips. Stick more than one together. Well, there you go. And that's what happens. Okay. So this is a little envelope I made uh, with the paper. Um, and... I haven't got anything inside that, but <laughs> I think I probably will do. That's one of the tags that, that's printed, and it comes out, of course, on a cardboard, um, on a cardstock, excuse me. That's another of the little um, sayings. This I just absolutely love. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of a bat, bat witch. And this is a, uh, what's his name? You you all know I'm talking about Tim Holtz, Die, is the raven. I love that butterfly one too. Because butterflies are not usually thought as scary or Halloween, but they kind of look like that <laughs> with uh, Daisy's interpretation of them. A bingo card with a witch on. And another tuck space. All these can be used as tuck spaces, and I do have a lot of tags left, which I will do when I um, make and put them in at a later date. Again, this, this backdrop paper is um, Tsunami uh, Roses, and this cut, again, is, is uh, Tim Holtz cut. I do like his cuts. He's kind of a freaky looking cat, but he works. And a nice tag there. Um, a little tag there, and that's another of her kind of um, postcardy ones. Okay, that I've got a little tag. That was where I punched the spider out that had a red head. Well, that's the negative part of it, and I just put that over uh, a piece of the paper that was left. So that makes a um, that makes a tuck spot there, and that was something I just cut out and used as a tuck spot. And that's the back, and I left the back of the book pretty much plain. I don't like to do too much with the back. I did put a different paper down the spine just to give a little more reinforcement. And that's it. I hope you like it, ladies. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.